there any relevance of native speaker norms? That's a question for tepalologists. Is it better to focus on form or to focus on forms? That's a question for tepalologists. If you use a textbook, is your classroom authentic? Or should your approach be more learner-centric? From feedback to learner autonomy, we'll discuss it all on Tephalology. Welcome back to the Tephalology podcast, a podcast all about teaching English as a foreign language and related matters. This is just a quick announcement to let you all know that for the months of February and March, we'll be taking a short break from podcasting. This is due to the three of us having some other commitments that need to be focused on during this period. Since June 2014, when our show first began, we have worked hard and are proud of the fact that we have released a new episode every two weeks. So we hope you don't mind us taking a short break for the next couple of months. We have plenty of interviews lined up for April, such as interviews with Donna Brinton, Diane Larson-Freeman and Michael Swan, so we're really looking forward to sharing these with you. As well as our interviews, the three of us will also be back together again to talk about different topics related to our field, such as news and pioneers. In the meantime, you can find our back catalogue on iTunes, YouTube and Spotify, as well as a range of other podcasting platforms, or by visiting our website, teflology-podcast.com. We'd also really appreciate it if you could continue to share our show on Twitter and Facebook. And if you have any questions or requests for us, please feel free to email us at teflology at gmail.com, and we'll reply as soon as possible. So, thank you for your understanding, and we'll be back with you all again in April.